Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah and I work as a software engineer at uh, JobTarget. In this video, I would like to walk you through basically how to parallelize Pandas transformation uh, in Airflow. So what I'm trying to say is that basically when you read a file, right, you want to apply transformation on the functions. Usually this is a synchronous call. Basically that means you, you will process one after the other, right? But what you could do is you want to create an efficient data pipeline or, you know, an efficient ETL workload where we could see the work. What I'm saying is where we could easily see the block diagram. We could see if the task has been failed or not. We could get email notifications and then we could process it and then create a new file there. So what I'm talking about is basically we want to create this. Um, so we are reading a file. We are doing some processing and then uh, we are waiting for the queues to complete. Once the queue is complete, we are basically putting the data, you're joining the data and then we are writing into a CSV file. So think about this way. First of all, a very basic concept before we jump into code, we have to understand that uh, if you don't know about XCOM and uh, Airflow, I would uh, highly you know, encourage you guys to first of all know what the hell is an XCOM in Airflow. So that is that. So first of all, a little bit background. When we do some kind of a background process, threading, processing, any kind of uh, background process, the data should always be in the queue. In this here, in Airflow uses XCOM. So we push the data on the XCOM. So when we are processing these uh, columns, we are pushing that values on the queue or let's say XCOM. And when we wait at the complete task, we pop the item from the queue or the technical term XCOM, and then we join it and we create a, we, we create a new file. Okay, enough of ta talking. I know I just want to show you the code. Uh, yeah, the concept is really amazing. I would leave all the snippets here. So, okay, we have an airflow, we have a workflow, uh, which we want to do. So first of all, as you can see, we are reading a file. After reading the file, what I'm doing is I'm pushing the value on an XCOM. So that means I'm pushing the pandas data frame on a, on a queue for, for now, okay? Now there are these three functions we have that is process type, process director, process title is basically just changing some value in the column. So as you can see, these are my background processes. So what I do is basically I push the value into the XCOM because I know it's a background process. I don't know whether, when it's gonna complete, but when I join the thread, when I'm waiting for it to complete, I can pop the item from the stack. So now what I'm doing is in the complete here, if you could see, is, um, uh, I'm basically getting the item from the queue or the technical term is XCOM. I'm pulling these items. Uh, once you pull these items, you wanna push that in the data frame. So I'm again using XCOM. So you see how I'm parallelizing my workload. So once you do that, I'm processing the file and then and, and storing it in, my, uh, in a file called process.csv. As you can see, this, these are my DAGs. So as you can see, uh, read files, read file, read file. So all of these are my uh, workflow. I'm defining that. And then these all are depending on the complete task. So if you switch to DAG, this is how it looks like. If you see the Gantt chart here, yeah, I can actually show you that these are uh, highly parallelized. It's pretty parallelized. So uh, I guess it was somewhere, yeah, the Gantt chart. I can prove it to you, man. Uh, so let me show you the Gantt chart. So you can see read file, this task happened. Process title, process type, these all tasks happen at the same time. The data was pushed in the queue and then when the data was done, we popped the item from the queue and we got the items. Uh, very easy, um, you know, I have an uh, efficient workflow here. I could turn on the pipeline, I can turn it off the pipeline, I can see the status. Okay, not only that guys, but it also offers you a nice UI. Um, we have enabled authentication here, so you can see uh, only after authentication, you could uh, uh, see the DAG view. Uh, I showed you about how to do that. Uh, basically, you would enable some things in the configuration. I would leave the video, uh, the link for that video as well in the description. But yeah, this is how you want to create efficient um, data pipelines or you know efficient workload. You want to parallelize your task using Airflow. It's amazing. Uh, the possibilities are endless. You could create much more complicated uh a pipe here you know you could uh, then you, this could go to a database or some s3 or data warehouse whatever you want to do right so that's kind of the general idea so uh hope you would enjoy this and uh, if you have any more questions in airflow or parallelizing these uh leave them in the description section below in the next video i will also talk about you know this, you see we could convert this into a sub dag i would talk about sub dag and how could you leverage sub dags as well it's gonna be fun so you know thank you so much for watching this video hope you have enjoyed it i hope this will uh hope this was a little knowledgeable to you guys and if you have any more questions list your questions in the comment section as usual guys keep smiling keep coding see you guys 